Hey everyone, Arale here, and we're back with another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we're going to tackle Love, the Melody of Courage, Lufinia, aka the Edward Lost Chapter Lufinia. But before I begin today, I just want to remind everybody about my goal this year to hit at least 1,000 subscribers. I'm expanding my channel slowly to not only include this default content, but other games as well, such as Cthulhu Saves the World in its bonus mode, and of course, the longest five minutes is also complete at this time. Alright, well, you can help me reach my goal with your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have this lovely team of two synergy units and an Aranea with a uh, garland friend I may or may not need to use. All right, let's begin. So I used this team on my um, on my Twitch stream. So I know it can work without the friend unit, but you know when you start recording, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So I have no doubt I may need the garland friend. Anyway, so let's talk a little bit about Palm. So Palum's LD now, when you break a target on his turn, will gain an additional turn. And this additional turn is a free action. It will not add to the turn count. So uh, another thing is Bluff has very high turn rate. Um, you can tend to get back-to-back uh, -back skills on later uses after the first one. Even here, he got he's going ahead of the enemy. Uh, you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also hit A. Now. This orb this time is deal ice damage. Now there are a couple ways if you are not bringing a party member who deals ice damage to uh, use some calls that can help you, such as um, well obviously Palum, but Cater can give your uh, give a self ice enchant to a party member. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anyone else offhand. Ah yes, Celeste can also provide you with some ice damage as well. And she's probably even better in your main party because she can ice enchant your party so and protect you from some of those nonsense early in the fight okay so next we are going to go ahead and we're gonna missile take advantage of that turn right there because I'm now Bart's next turn is coming a little sooner okay that was expected all right and we're going to hit B because he is at five turns and that's a little scary but we're gonna use um, we're going to use my city and ice crystal here to help us out with that. All right. And our stardust is ready again on right on cue. This is great because when Palom has these unbreak turns as well, his HP damage up goes through the roof. As you just saw, we just did 183 damage to both enemies. Okay. So, um, I want to, I would like to double hand so I can get simple mastery completed, but we know that's a terrible idea. So instead, what I'm going to do to protect my party members is I'm going to, um, I'm going to elemental attack a little early. This way they'll also gain some brave of their own and they'll be protected. There we go. Much better. So nobody broke there and we get another turn. Okay. And you guys are probably wondering, why do I sound so quiet today? Well, it's because my husband's actually still sleeping. So I'm a little on the quieter end because I'm recording in the morning. I wanted to do this last night, but um, some things came up and I was unable to do so. All right, let's go ahead and hit B here and knock him back. And I'm gonna see if I still have my LD. I do not. So at this point, I would like to uh, use my twin cast double Blizzaga. And what this will do is also unbreak these two targets, which will guarantee Palom an extra free turn. Wonderful. So now we can take advantage of our, um, you know, our skills and everything. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use another one of these, my city and ice crystals. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit A here to knock it back. And then I'm going to um, Vital Crusher, finally. Get that Vital Crusher debuff on from Highland. Onto A here. 
fantastic. Now we have them at 85% and I'm going to just go ahead and Ian Nuki. Give them the Nuggie. The Ian Nuki that is. Alright, and perfect timing on that Stardust. So we're gonna do a lot of damage here, even though maybe not as much as before, but still probably pretty good damage. Alright, 142,000. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to just, I'm going to high wind again. And then show A what's what. We're going to get ready to burst in a moment too, guys. So, since they're also about to go under 80%, I'm going to slow them down a little bit. This actually is very noticeable throughout this fight for this team. All right, there. And one of them did go under 80%. Fantastic. And um, they will remove the orb at this point till we reach under the 50% mark, I believe. All right. Let's see. Um, how many turns are we at here? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. We'll hit A here since he's going to also delay himself. See, he got a little bit of extra turn delay there for himself because of that speed down. Fantastic. Okay. And um, since we took a little bit of HP damage and I don't really land to give them any more turns here's what we're going to do we're going to we're going to all boost and then after that we're going to cast Pinello's region waltz all right now we're ready to finally burst okay now first things first let's go ahead and elemental attack finish your elemental attack i love it all right and next Let's finally, finally get double hand mastery. This just shows you how few turns Bart's was getting there. <laughs> All right, and now we'll missile. So they will be in this red state here. And if they get a turn, they will set a ally's HP to zero. You cannot last in this. This is similar to Odin's little thing he would do, where if you broke you, you would be your HP would be set to zero. This is not the same as getting hit with an attack. It's just set to zero. You're dead. That's it. So keep that in mind. Don't let them have a turn um, while they have this red aura up. And this red aura is going to remain until we get them under the um, the 60% um, mark. Let's go ahead and we're going to launch this bad boy right here for some nice, nice damage. Very good. All right, over 310,000, great. Now I'm going to go ahead. We're gonna do quick spell blade, dual wield, rapid fire. Take everybody's like abilities, combine them together, but can't give them a cool name. Just call them what they are normally. Just think about having to yell that attack out in an anime or something. No pizzazz, but that's our boy Barts. He's not about pizzazz. He's just about winning, getting the job done. I respect that. All right. Now it is our boy Palum's turn again. And he doesn't need this HP um, or this uh, high turn rate on bluff this time. But what we can do is we can increase damage even further and help us out a little bit with some nice status effects. There we go. Waka giving us that, that um, lovely uh, confusion debuff. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to dual cast here. And I'll have RNA just brave plus. And um, Bart's here, HP attack. Lovely little launch for those two. All right, now Palom's getting another turn. Fantastic. So we're gonna take advantage of that. And um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, my city and ice crystal. Look at that, that was, that was 200,000 damage. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to air superiority over here on B because his turn's coming up sooner. And I kind of want to see um, if we can get them, if we can get them under 60%. I'm going to hit B also with uh, the Dragoon Dive plus here. And on her next turn, I will probably Vermilion Assault again. All right. Let's Missile again. We'll Stardust right now. 
Hallam's EX will be up quite often, even if you're using his dual cast HP plus plus a lot. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to Vermilion Assault, and that's going to break B. And it, we're probably about to get them under 60%, so the super enraged state will go away. If you cannot deal with this enraged state, if you do, you can paral you can use the unique paralyzes, you can use Waka's debuff, and hope to God you get the confusion like I just did. Um, you can use other, um, you can use Edward here, of course. Uh, you can try to delete turns. A lot of options are available to you, but you have to, um, you have to, um, you have to use them obviously but uh, <laughs> you have to time them well so just be as long as they don't get their turn you can block their turn in a lot of ways or keep them from having their turn in a lot of ways you'll be safe all right so now i'm going to go ahead and nookie it up okay perfect I think we still have turns left on his twin resolve, but I don't want to use them yet. All right, let's go ahead and dump that. I was really hoping I'd get another turn, but I didn't think it was quite time for that. All right, can I get some high turn rate here? Yes, I can. High turn rate advantage. All right, so Bluff's um, Brave Gain is based, I think, on like his attack, and uh, Palin's attack is no joke, guys. He gets a lot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna air superiority. And now she's gonna get another turn. So um, now that she's at one turn left on her C ability here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use um, this Cyclone right here. Cyclone Drive. While Bart Bart's BT effect is up. There we go. It's a nice little extra damage just to throw in there. And we will high win plus. So, let me see. Did everybody heal? They sure did. Fantastic. We can now go ahead and Evanescence then. There we go. All right. About to go under the next threshold. All right. It's scary, guys, because they can't get turns again, and the orb will be back. All right, they're both under that mark. There's the orbs. All right, so now again, they're in this red state and they will be in this red state until under 30% at this point. So we've got to do a lot of damage, guys. But thankfully our um, our Waka debuff is still, the confusion one is still up on A. So we have a little bit of leeway with him, but B did not get hit with that. So um, we're gonna have to Really watch it for this next turn. How about we Ian Nuki on A? That way when Helen gets his next turn, he'll be able to break and do some nice damage. All right. How about we do a launch too? Now, if you're wondering, I have used Pelham in the past, so I have quite a bit of experience with him. The LD is pretty much the only really new thing. I'm really hoping in the future they'll give him better ways to unbreak his targets, um, more ways to unbreak his targets. That will be super, super appreciated, like mad. And I think we might have lost my twins resolve. Uh, it says we did it, but I didn't get dual cast plus plus off of Stardust. How interesting. That's okay. Um, how about we do this? We're going to do a blizzard burst here. And then I'll use the LD again. 
and we'll get that free break, unbreak, and then we'll continue again. Fantastic. All right, so now with that said, um, we're gonna just do a cast plus plus. I know I'm gonna lose it, but um, that's honestly the best move here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna air superiority. And we got those consecutive turns. All right, and um, I'm looking at everybody's stuff here just to make sure like, Okay, so if I high win and then let Bart lead the launch, we'll be okay too. Right, that sounds like a good plan. I think we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and Vermilion Assault then. Oh, those are good damages on those splits. Okay, fantastic. Um, now we can go ahead and we can Missile here and we'll just pretty much give them like a zillion damage to do in this launch. Beautiful. And very nice. I love the last Mycidian Crystal use. It's so silly most of the time. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna high win since this will um, this will have that nice uh, split damage thing going on. Well, not split, uh, splash damage. Okay, so they're about to go under 30%, which is great. Um, definitely a good thing. And we'll probably summon soon. Okay, so B is now under 30%, and the orb does remain at this point, guys, so just be aware of that, and um, we do not want to let them get any more turns still, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and summon at this point, and start setting up to wrap up this fight. Um, Alright, yes, we'll elemental attack here. Very good damage, sir. Very good. I think, yes, Stardust is ready. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna be sick. We're gonna probably max max up, oh man, two times in a row. Mmm, my gosh. Look at that, 250k almost. Okay, um, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to air superiority. Since this fight is only a max of 50 turns, you can really go ham with your Aranea here if you're using her. Okay. And we'll use our last Vermilion Assault since we're wrapping up this fight probably a lot sooner than you'd think. So I've seen a lot of people also do Terra Yang for this fight if you are looking for more characters to, um, you know, options outside of the synergy thing. A lot of people did pull, um, I believe, back in the day for Edward. So you may have him to help you out with the sleep, especially in certain scenarios, uh, depending on your setup. And... We still had we still had one of these guys this is gonna be so good watch oh my gosh and it would have been even better had I had the twin cast turn there okay um let's do this all right and now um, I'm going to going to I'm going to high wind again because I like doing the max max damages uh, and then I'm going to use, I'm going to I'm going to um, hit you know I gotta be careful about this I don't want to get greedy so let's not be greedy let's hit a with the dragon dive here okay there we go we're fine and um, so when they, oh, I forgot to almost mention, when they have this green aura like this, they are able to take one more turn, but if they take another turn after that, they will kill you. Sorry, that's it, game over. So don't, don't get there. Um, I think we still have our world traveler and adventurers there. Perfect. You know what? Let's use our last elemental attack because we want to get the most out of that burst effect on that last turn. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and... We will Stardust. And we're going to go ahead and um, 
know what? We'll do this. We'll do our air superiority. Thing is, though, guys, um, since they are uh, paralyzed in my team, they're really not going to get to do another action on their own. They're going to get another turn, probably, but there will not be another action performed by these guys. We're going to kill them. All right. I'm going to smack him and let Pelham get a bazillion brave. There we go. Because his brave hits are massive on his brave plus and HP plus. All right. Now, uh, now we'll go ahead and... Um, We'll activate the Ian Nuki. Nuki Nuki. And um, let's see. Okay, so how about this? We'll activate our Brave Reels. All right. That paralysis will be removed over on B, but we're going to get them down be way before this is a problem. All right, let's go ahead and high wind plus. And we are out of high winds. Uh, let's hit A here. I think we might be able to kill him. Not quite, but pretty close. And there we go. Wow, that was a little scary. I almost thought I wasn't going to finish. He was going to get that another turn and he was going to kill us, but it didn't happen because Pelham can hit like a truck with his HP plus. Okay, uh, dual cast is awesome. There we go. Uh, and we won in 39 turns without using our Garland friend support. Um, that's, there you go. So synergy is uh, a very good answer to this fight, um, if you happen to have it. And, um, you know, Terry Yang, I've seen that a lot. I think I've seen some people do the Squex Airlines with Dessel, Cloud, and Kais. So there's been a few of those. I'm sure those are very tricky and a little scary, but I could see it working out for you if you are very, very aggressive. Um, this was my team, and I have set up some orbs on my lovely um, Palum here. And... Um, I haven't decided yet what I want to do with Bartz's, so that's why he doesn't have any spheres yet. I will be spearing him though. Um, and guys, thank you so much as always for tuning in. Uh, if you want to enjoy more RLA, I have a Twitch now. I have a Discord community. Links are in the description below. Uh, thank you again for taking the time to uh, watch this with me today. Uh, watch me do this today. And until next time, guys. Remember to always stay cool and have fun.